Hello there, and congratulations on taking the first steps towards having some big wins for yourself and having some of your dreams be able to become realities. I'm going to take a few minutes and introduce myself. I'm going to tell you a story. And I'll be dropping around seven nuggets of the importance of articulating your dreams and goals, activating your well laid out plans so that you will be able to achieve. For all of this to happen, you will need to have curiosity, courage, and consistency. I'm sure that you'll pick up on these tips and the nuggets as I share the story with you. Is that okay? Great. My name is Patricia Jo Groper. I am also known as the Goal Achievement Strategist. I'm a speaker, an author, and a show host. As the CEO of PatriciaJoeGrover.com, I have created products and services to aid people in the process of achieving their own dreams and goals. My books were designed to be tools. Then I created webinars, workshops, and courses as additional tools to provide ex the extra cur curriculum that other forms of learning that people um, may need to keep from straying off of track um, because we know that life gets in the way, which we know it does, right? Yes, it does. Life happens to every single one of us, whether we are ready for it or not. You know, once I found that I got my clients started in the process of working through the system that I created, I found that there was a component missing and it was a big piece of the puzzle. I had to go back to the memories and the points when uh, in my life, when I was starting to take and put all the notes together for my book. You see, my first book came from me being on my own journey of self-discovery. I had a childhood that most people couldn't conceive, let alone believe. Those experiences caused issues well into adulthood for me. After three failed marriages and a child, I finally took the time to learn to know, like, trust, and ultimately love myself. That part of my journey took nine years. I had to do a lot of sifting through those ashes to find where things had gone wrong, figure out why they did, and even contemplate how, how they could have gone differently. I knew that I couldn't let those things keep me from having, being, and doing more with my life. So I learned from my mistakes and realized that from the pain comes wisdom. And have to be, I have to be clear, I'm not looking for sympathy. I'm just trying to show you the point of my story, which part of it is we all have baggage, so we need to name it and claim it. Go through that suitcase and set free what no longer fits the new you, what no longer serves you purpose. And the next steps after reconciling the past was for me to evaluate where I was currently as a woman, a mother, and a single mom being the income provider. Believe me, it wasn't an easy task, as you may imagine. This piece was very emotional and being vulnerable to oneself is not an easy thing to do. We as humans have the tendency to compare ourselves to others, to hold on to guilt, shame, and to not, to not have our own definition of what wealth or success are, are to us in any point of our life. After completing that self-discovery piece of the puzzle, I knew that it was time for me to determine what I wanted to be, have, and do. And honestly, I have to say that was a little scary. When I was finally able to not be held back from my past, and I had done the evaluation of where I was at, I was looking at that ocean of possibilities. And that's where having that creative uh, mind and curious soul paid off. I found that I had gained so much knowledge about myself and I was ready to be at a point in my life so that I could create a better life for myself and my daughter. That's why I say our curiosity has to be greater than our fears. And it doesn't hurt that I had created my own toolbox of things that had given me strength, 
courage and confidence along the way when I kept having those little wins. So let me get back to the big puzzle piece that I said I was missing from my platform. This was a piece that many years ago, I wished that had been available to me as I was retaking, reshaping and remaking my own life. I had read books and taken courses and I had gotten coaches, but there was still something missing, that, that accountability piece. I had friends and family that didn't understand my mission of making positive changes in my life. So I just continued doing what I'd been doing. And what I found was that I was just tired of being the chief cook and bottle washer for everything in my home for my daughter, but also being my own sounding board, mentor, connector, and cheerleader for myself, for my personal life and, and professional life. I was involved with church groups and other women's groups. I'd been president of a junior chamber of commerce and then also a chamber of commerce member. But I still hadn't found that thing that I needed that was so important to me. Um, so I started networking more. And then I created a networking mastermind group. And then that transformed because I found that there was still a piece missing. When I created the peer-to-peer -peer mentoring and accountability program, that is what I thought was going to be that final piece. But you know something? It, it, it wasn't. It wasn't. Through the networking I'd been doing um, as part of growing my business, I found that there were more connections that had so many similar things in common. There were needs. There were struggles that people were going through and triumphs that they were having. And then I realized that people needed to be hearing these stories and become encouraged, educated, and empowered by them, as well as to find out about products and services that were available to them that may be beneficial in, in a certain area of their life. So that's how my show was born. I found that there was more need. And then I realized that there would be a need for me to do summits, retreats, and create other books to be able to be beneficial for people. So my friend, I hope you see the importance of number one, learning from your past. Number two, evaluating where you are. Number three, daring to dream. Number four, putting together your smarter plans. Number five, working through those plans with courage. Number six, staying consistent until you achieve. And number seven, to have that special support system. I hope you've been empowered by this short version of my story. And I wanna give you a few more nuggets about planning, organization, and motivation that you may find helpful on your own journey. You'll be getting two more text messages from me with the URL links to, to get these other gifts. Enjoy them. If you'd like to find out more information about me, you can go to patriciajoegrover.com and, and then I will be continuing to live my life purposely, joyfully, and gratefully. And I, I wish that for you as well. Have a wonderful day.